Who can think of two jungle animals? A monkey and a lizard. Terrific. The name is Josephine Abrams. I am 91. I got involved with the Y because I wanted to have some physical activity and every day exercising like crazy. Started doing aerobics and Tai Chi and Zumba. I am very involved here. My name is Ramon Rodriguez. I'm an actor, writer, director. I came to the 14th Street Y originally when I was one years old. I did everything from gymnastics here when I was a kid to swimming lessons and then finally when I was of age to play basketball. This became my sanctuary. I literally would wake up in the morning, come here, nobody was here, and I would just do drills, which got me eventually to get a scholarship to play college basketball in West Virginia. My name is Chloe Nassau. I work at Honeymoon Israel in partnership with the 14th Street Y. We do immersive trips to Israel with couples, and then we work with them incorporating Jewish life back home in New York. Which one would you like? Black. My name is Antonio Rodriguez. I'm in grad school getting my master's in social work. I've been here at the 14th Street Y for six years. I work at the KOL Special Needs Program, the after school program, and in the summer, the New Country Day Camp. How do we build the bridge together? I think that this is a particularly lovely nursery school. The teachers talk about being kind to each other and forgive and forget and go on to the next step and be friends. That's really a basic Jewish value. And while this is a Jewish why, you really have a potpourri of all kinds of people. I've learned so much about the Jewish culture and I'm grateful for it. I'm Puerto Rican, but I call myself Jew Rican. It's always been very inclusive and welcoming. You don't just see one specific type of person here, whether it's age, ethnicity, gender, it just doesn't exist. The 14th Street Y has always felt like a place that has been a community hub that has been on the forefront of innovating, whether it's arts or youth programming or through the preschool, and the community is better for it. The kids, they start off the program like, you know, knowing a kid or like not knowing anyone. Like now they go to their birthday parties, the parents have lunch together. The 14th Street Y fosters friendships, family, and just like that sense of community. You have people that connect to you. I call the 14th Street Y my cheers. It's like a warm blanket and a fire. It just feels right. And I think a lot of folks come here because of that feeling. For a long time, it was, it was like my second home. Growing up here, like if you weren't actively participating in something, and for me it was basketball, I probably would have been doing something not so great. So I'm grateful that the 14th Street Y provided the space for me to kind of have an outlet to do that. The 14th Street Y weathers the storms with you. The moment you walk in, you know that you have a place here. And in this day and age, and in New York City, it's tough out there. If I ever needed support, I had it here. I remember one time I was talking with a supervisor about like college and what I should do. And she kind of showed me like, oh, like you'd be great like as a social worker. The 14th Street Y helped me develop as a person and guided me to like where I am now. It is my second home. I get up in the morning and I never ever say, ugh. Oh. I vey another day. I come here and do my activities, and if I could be so bold to say, it's kept me young. If you're someone who is interested in involving yourself in not just a gym and not just a preschool, like this is a full service organization. We need more spaces that feel welcoming and inclusive, and this is a place that does it right. The space provided so much for me, so whenever I could give back, I'm happy to do that. We need places where we can go and feel good and connect to people or connect with ourselves. And I think everybody wants to feel like they're a part of something. We all want to find our tribe. There's a cool tribe here, and I think it keeps growing. And if you're lucky, you'll get to be a part of it. <laughs>